Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, I have two special sales offer available. And one, it's a mid-year reading, a reading that looks into the second half of 2019, what kind of opportunities and challenges and changes might be a part of your life during that time frame. And the other one is called The Tides, and it's a reading that focuses on themes of emotional currents uh, in your life, what might be coming about, what might be coming to the shore, what kind of new emo emotional experiences might be a part of this uh, period of time, and also the ones that are being cleared away, the ones that are being pulled back, uh, pulled back and purged out of your life. So if you would like to know... <clears throat> more details about those special offers or any other of my services just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the paypal link which is also down below so sagittarius i do feel like some of you during july are looking for some sort of intense experiences because there's a sense that even if you consciously want to focus on peace, want to focus on things being more low-key, things being more steady, more grounded, more stable, there's a subconscious pull that is going to be activated during this month to get yourself into situations where that intensity, that impulsiveness, that passion, that kind of tension um, that brings uh, that um, anxiety but at the same time that stimulation it's like it, to bring up here the volcano of feelings and sensations that you have been containing inside it does feel like some of you have been repressing the the that energy um, you have been repressing your passion for a while and for Sagittarius that have been dealing with this, it does feel like this is the month where it might be really hard for you to keep doing so without um, having some unwanted projections of anger or frustration or difficulty being brought into your life. So you're very advised to follow um, a conscious path during July in which the feelings that you want to really uh, declare the, the actions you really want to take, the situations you really want to be a part of, to do so as, um, as presently as possible within your own feelings. Because it, it does feel like some of you Sagittarius are acting out of nature because uh, you're not present within your own inner beings. It's like a difficulty in being um, consistent. How you feel and how you act, what you think and what you say, it might be really out of place for you um, during this month. It's like some of you don't know how to let your guard down. The Nine of Wands in your soul position, where we see how you are internalizing and processing internally again all the experiences of the month. Nine of Wands, being on guard, defensiveness, pain, restlessness, feeling like you can't relax, you can't sleep, you can't uh, just be. Because if you do so, you might not see the enemies approaching, you might not see who might approach you and want to take advantage of you or want to take advantage of what you have. But the Nine of Wands many times is also a very paranoid energy where we have that repetition of trauma, right? Uh, guiding us. It's not a real uh, sense of danger. It's not that there's really something wrong coming about. It's the trust issue. It's the damage that has been previously done that keeps being activated when uh, situations where we're asked to trust happen. So some of you are also dealing with a lot of trust issues. Trusting yourself, trusting your feelings, trusting your instincts, trusting your, your, your ideas, but also trusting others. And that might be something for Sagittarius that are in relationships, for example, there might, that might be causing some, again, intensity in terms of clash, my way, the things I want, the things I see 
how they should be versus your partner's way. And I also feel like either your partner or the person you're dealing with feels like they cannot reach you, right? They cannot get into that soul place where they could really get to know the truth of how you feel and who you are. Or you're also feeling like someone is pushing you out of their inner uh, truth. There's a difficulty in revealing and opening up uh, fully to others and even to life. It's like being on guard. And it does feel like an interesting mixture here because some of you want to play. It's like you want to um, be involved uh, in things with a more carefree disposition, three of wands. Some of you do want to go on adventures. You do want to start relationships. You do want to meet new people, new friends, to um, expand your social network, expand your business, expand your family, whatever it is for you. But you want it, but you don't know how to go about it. You don't know how to trust that same, that same pull to just be open to see um, what's coming, what will come about if you try. It's like a fear of giving into something and then being taken advantage of, being robbed of something that you have fought so hard to have for yourself, like your territory, your things, the things you own, the things you possess is yours. Um, some of you, you have on guard, you have been on guard and in this defensive mode for a long time because you do have the seven of wands as your past influence so you have been on fighting mode survival mode warrior mode for some time but there's also something here about some of, some of you using this as a shield to not love to not relate with intimacy um i do feel like for others of you as you let go or give in to this energy, like you let go gradually of any fears you have of intimacy or th situations dealing with trust, you will be able to actually encounter very good experiences ahead. But it feels like this month can be as good as bad as some of you Sagittarius make it. It's in your hands. It's in your hands to see, you see this weapon. It's in your hands to seize the weapon, right? To put the weapon on the ground because it's like trust that there's nothing to be afraid of. Trust in the future. Trust in what's coming. Trust in who's there knocking at your door. You have to trust. Otherwise, um, you could be letting some good opportunities pass you by. I do feel like there might be even situations with work and business. It's like you're not open to other people's ideas other people's approach other people's opinions it's like you're very self-absorbed in your ways or fixed in your ways during july and giving up control giving up here you don't need to always have your defenses up it's okay to trust it's okay to let go of the fear of trusting and letting someone in letting someone in your space some of you uh you have been waiting for an opportunity that is coming but now that the opportunity is coming in july it's like now that it's so close right again to your boundaries to your to your to where your space begins and ends uh, you're freaking out. Some of you Sagittarius are just freaking out because something is too close. It's like it w when it was far away, like an idea or a person or a perception of something, it was good to indulge in it. But now that it's seriously close and it's going to ask that you let go of your fear of this, disappointment, betrayal, um, basic sense of negativity, loss... You don't know how to act upon it. Some of you, um, again, as I said, it could have a very good month or a very bad month, depending on how you give up control um, of something that in reality you don't really have much control of. It's like this, this idea that some of you are trying to avoid getting yourselves um, connected with something, with an energy that you're <coughs> that you're lacking. <coughs> I'm sorry. 
that you have been lacking for a while. It's like being on the battlefield for too long without anything to sustain you there, right? No food, no water, no one, no love. There's there's the basics there's a basic thing that some of you have been l lacking on for your internal survival to feed your soul, right? To charge up your soul and move to the next chapter feeling more complete, feeling more uh, like yourself, feeling more inspired, more open to take certain leaps and certain risks. So <clears throat> I also feel like some of you Sagittarius are also suffering from avoidance. So some of you, you're just moving on circles about something. Like maybe someone is asking you an answer and instead of you giving the answer, some of you Sagittarius are moving around the situation. Because you're avoiding, 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 again, centering yourself in your truth, in your internal truth of what you want to do about it. Because you know it's going to bring conflict to you and to your life. There's an inner turmoil that it's like brewing, 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 brewing. And some of you could really have that sense of the eruption moment during July where all that fire that has been repressed... Uh, will come out so uh, anger passion you know uh, affirmation impulsive um, impulsive behaviors risks actions that are not measured all of that is going to come out at the same time so it can be really intense for some of you to um, <clears throat> go through that as well that's why you're advised to at your time Try to work with your emotions daily. Try to listen. Try to express and channel them um, as much as possible. Because if you just keep repressing them, the more you hold them tightly, the more the consequence of the blowout. It's like the consequence of the blowout will be worsened by that. Because then it will be out of proportion with... Um, what will be really happening is like maybe something will say someone will say something to you that it's not that ser serious or or a reason for you to have that major reaction, but it's like that last sting that it was needed for you to again blow up. So be also mindful where you are channeling this uh, high energy. It's a very high voltage here kind of energy with you. Some of you could also be just feeling like things are not working the way you expected them to and this could be dealing with finances and um finances and your projects your goals it's like there's something you have been fighting for and waiting 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 for results and it's taking a long time it's taking too much time again for you to sustain something so it could also be that you're asked to end uh, a way like it could be in the way of your own right self when it comes to living love relationships friendships um, how you give of yourself how you allow others to give to you to really know you or end an actual situation in your material world that is not working and is a source of a lot of drama and weight upon you it could be that you just have to give up something during, I'm sorry, during um, July. You have to give up on something to gain something. And it feels like the gain is first your freedom. Freedom of a lot of drama and a lot of anger and a lot of frustration and a lot of desperate feelings like, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? When is this going to And living daily on this mode is, for some of you, doing you real harm. For others of you, I feel like it's just a matter of uh, ending a strategy, ending a plan, ending a way that you are going about it and creating a new one. And some of you, again, you might be so fixed in your positions that it can be really hard for, for some of you Sagittarius to think about other way. Like, I don't want other way. I've worked really hard to build this and now you're asking me to give, that, give this up. So some of you could not really be in the mood to give up to give it up right to 
hold yourself uh, back and give it to God and give it to the universe and see what happens. Some of you want to control again. You want to be on top of it. And the more you're on top of it, it feels like the less you receive. Because it's a matter of tr trust and openness here that you're being challenged with. Um, for others of you, it's a very busy month and a month with a lot of things to handle and manage. Some of you, are, I feel like you have good, um, you, could, you could be having good moments of um, with family or friends or relationships in general. There can be some sense of happiness as well coming in for some of you Sagittarius, but even those, it feels like it comes with drama chaos, uh, confusion, a lot of things to deal with. It's like falling in madly in love and moving in together and starting a family and starting a business all at once. And it's like all, all, all together. And some of you could be dealing with a lot of good things, but at the same time tagged along with it a lot of drama because there's a lot of things to to take care of. And again, it feels like you're being, you're like getting to a point where you don't know uh, where your where your space is, where your space resides, like uh, what's mine, right? And what do I need to protect and preserve? Uh, the boundaries I need to put set in motion. It's like you might feel like you're losing yourself a little bit, your individuality in a shared process with someone. It could be again a love, a lover, or a business partner, or something you're doing that is asking. That you give it up again you give it up something that feels essential to you of course which is yourself and your individuality and your ways and your norms and all of that so i hope you have a great uh month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon